hiked out a little bit to the jetty. It's a little windy, so I hope the audio is all right. But Jess is going to be using a, a bait setup, like a Carolina rig, with some gulp worms, I think. And I'm going to be throwing a swim jig, or a big jig head with a swim bait on it. And we'll see what we can do. Ideally, we'll catch some rockfish. If we get the ling cod, that'll be a bonus. And I think there's greenling here too, which would be nice. I heard those are pretty good. So the tide's coming in, so we'll have to watch ourselves as the tide comes in. And be very careful, because we don't want to slip and fall at all. Okay, so, it's first cast time. Let it sink for a little bit. I'm just gonna slowly reel it in and jig it near the bottom. I don't know how deep it is here. You're gonna wanna cast like really far that way because the tide's coming in. Is it staying put? So it's not staying put. <laughs> Oh, fish on, fish on. Let's go. Woo, What's, what does it got, what do we got? It is a rock bass. Oh, no, no, no. We got dinner. He stabbed me. Oh yeah. There we go. This is what we're after, guys. This is a rock bass. Awesome. This is like the first one I've caught, I think, on my channel. I've caught a ton off boats, but this is the first one I've caught on my channel. So this is the first rock bass off of a jetty that you guys are seeing. It's a pretty good one. Let's go. You've caught him on boats and you've never caught him No, I know. It was when I was younger. Look at him. That's what we're going for. Good looking. Yep. Thank you. He actually fell down and then wedged himself where I could reach him. And so I was like, oh, sweet. And then he got me. I was me. like, oh, well, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm bleeding. Shed blood for this guy. He bit right next to the rocks. Yeah. Like, literally, I was bouncing the jig off of the rocks and he bit it. I'll leave him right there for now. Oh, well, I'm going to hide him. Birds. Right there. So, guys, that was awesome. So, what I caught him on was just this one quarter ounce jig head with this white paddle tail, this yellowish white paddle tail. I was just dragging it along the rocks real close, actually. He, he darted out from the rocks and grabbed it. And then that was it. And then I got him. Let's do it again. Oh. I'm getting a little bold now. I'm trying to cast it right along the rocks and keep it close. This current's not doing me any favors, so I just got to work with it here. Oh, fish on, fish on, woo! Fish number two. This guy's a little smaller. <laughs> Let's go, another rock bass. All right, he's a little smaller, but I'm gonna eat him anyway. Yes, finally some jetty success. Coast Guard. Crazy machines. Whew, alrighty guys. 
quick update. We caught two nice ones right here. Boom. It's starting to rain a little bit and the tide's really going, you know, going full speed now. So we're gonna get take a break, go take care of these guys, get them fully up, put them on ice, uh, get the camp set up and ready, probably have a snack, and then head back out when the tide's uh, closer to high tide or slack tide. So anyway, we'll see you in a bit. This one's mine. Alrighty guys, we are back out on the water. Had a brief intermission, we went back and kind of napped a little bit in the car and cleaned the other fish. And the tide is now up, so it's high tide and it's going into slack tide. So I think we're gonna have a much better chance at catching some more fish. Hopefully we can catch some more rockfish or maybe even a lingcod. I would, I would be okay with that too, but stick with me. Let's get on the water and put you on the chest cam and let's catch some fish. Same exact thing, I'm just going to cast out kind of at an angle and drag this thing right in front of the rocks. I'm gonna say, I think it broke like the, the salt water curse, but uh, I think that's just surf perch. But I haven't caught a rockfish on my channel before, so that's pretty cool. I'm actually very excited about that. Fish on, fish on. Let's go. Oh, this guy's a bigger one. Gotta tie my drag. Gotta keep him out of the rocks. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, really nice bass. Nice. Let's go. This guy's a chunk. Look at how fat this guy is. right in the nose. Look at that. That's a fat one. Check this guy out. Look at this, guys. That is a monster. That's a huge one. Third fish of the day. This is definitely the biggest. I'm going to go ahead and bonk him, bleed him, and then get back out there. Let's do it. That's so good. Look at that. That's a huge one. Maybe this is bigger than the other two. Jeez, they got some gnarly mounts. Let's go, let's go, <laughs> yes. Letting it sit for a second, letting it sink, and then just slowly retrieving. Just crossing my fingers that it doesn't get caught on a rock, really. Whenever you fish a jetty, make sure to bring extra gear. Because you'll lose a lot. <laughs> Oh, fish on, fish on. Let's go. Let's go. He's fighting a little harder. Where is he? Come here, bud. Get out of the rocks. Yeah, they just have like one fight in them and then they just roll over. Let's go. Another nice one. Another nice fish. They all get knocked right through the, right through the nose there. All right, and a the little, their little sniffer. Man, I wish I could be this successful fishing every time I go to the ocean. We are on a roll today, guys. This is the best jetty fishing I've ever had, ever, in my life. Never had better jetty fishing than this. Although, to be fair, that link cod was pretty badass, so. All this thing is supposed to do is look like a little, a little injured bait fish swimming through the water right in front of the rocks, like, oh no, please don't eat me. I'm but an injured bait fish. I don't want to die. And it looks so tantalizing. Those rockfish and those lingcods just can't help themselves. It would be pretty stellar if I caught a lingcod today. I think I would make my day. That would be uh, that'd be 
That'd be a huge bonus. So I did get a nice bite out a little bit. So let's just try that for funsies. Give it a good amount of time to sink to the bottom. So it's about high tide right now. So this is like primo time, I think. Oh yes, that was a bite and a half. He hammered that one, let's go. Fish on. <laughs> he hammered that one. Whew, look at that guys, he inhaled it. So that was another one out, cast out in the middle. I didn't really cast too close to the shore. So that's nice to know. Let's just try to replicate. Super slow retrieve, let it sink. Well, let us retrieve super slow. I think I'm getting it. I think I got this down. At least today. Oh, yes. Fish on. Oh, yes. Another one. Another one. Oh, yes. Another one. Fish on. Oh, yes. Last fish. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Boat flip. Boat flip. Right through the nose. Right through the nose! Eh, he's not bad. We'll keep him. Got him. Got him. Quality, quality bass. All done fishing today. That was a great day of fishing. I have literally never done that well fishing off the jetty before. So that was just like, I couldn't have asked for a better fishing day. Jess did decide to stay in the camp. So she's gonna be jealous because I'm gonna bring back this. <laughs> and this is a limit of rock bass. One person's limit of rock bass or rock fish. Seven of these guys. Woo! Some of them are pretty good size. So we're gonna go ahead and cook these up tonight over the, either over the fire or we have a cook set we're gonna use with some butter and spices. So that should be pretty good. We're gonna hang out at the camp, chill, probably have a pretty relaxing night, honestly. So that's gonna be nice. And then uh, tomorrow morning, we're gonna get up. We're gonna pack up camp, get back out here and try to catch some more. So we have, uh, have some extra fish to pack our freezer with. But I'm gonna go ahead and pack these guys up, get them all clean and take them back to the camp. And we'll see you there. What is up guys? We're back out on the rocks. We packed up camp, got everything all put away and then jetted right out here. We're pretty much at high tide right now. So we have a couple hours, like an hour of like slack tide. So it should be good, but we'll give it a shot. And uh, I'm gonna put Jess on the same rig as I had so she can fish with the, uh, the jig head, which was really effective yesterday on the Kitech. But uh, let's go ahead and get started catching fish. So what you're gonna do is cast out just like anywhere. It doesn't matter that far. Let it sit, like let it give line for like three or four seconds until it just goes a little lower. Doesn't really matter exactly how long and then slowly retrieve, like super, like this slow. And you'll feel it hit things on the bottom and it'll be like tick, tick, and it might get caught. And if you feel it get caught, like if you're reeling and it, the line slowly just goes, like your rod slowly goes like that, then try to pop it off because it's getting snagged, but you'll feel it if it's a fish, it'll go wham, okay. and then it'll fight, so. Oh, I got a bump. Fish on, fish on, let's go. Seems like a smaller guy. Ooh, he's fighting a little bit. He's fighting a little bit. It's a nice one. Yeah, well, that's a good one. Come here, bud. He just didn't fight very hard. It's a really nice one. And that's it. That's how you do it. First fish of the day. He just gobbled it. And I've been feeling him like nip at it now, but very, very slow. And as soon as he, oh, yep. Fish on, yep. <laughs> as soon as he gets within the vicinity of those rocks, it's just lights out. Oh, wow. This guy might be bigger. Oh, he's fighting like he's bigger. Oh, it's a ling. It's a ling. 
don't know if I want to keep it or not. Keep it. Keep it? The wife says keep it. I want to eat it. He's actually not bad. Look at this, guys. So this is a lingcod. I've caught one of these before. This is awesome. I can't believe I caught one this weekend, though. So you got to be really careful with these guys. Because their teeth are nasty. Look at those chompers. Oh, he's burping up a squid. So I can keep two of these guys. There's no minimum size in Washington. He's probably 20 or so inches. I'll keep him. The woman wants to eat him, so we're going to keep a ling. These are like the apex ambush predators here. Okay, there's spikes in his gills too. Got me. Ling on the board. That's crazy. Check this guy out. He's about 20 inches long. There's no minimum size in Washington. So this guy's actually a little bit small for Oregon, but he'll cut up and he'll make some excellent fish tacos. I didn't expect to actually catch one of these. I was mostly expecting just rockfish this weekend, but this is awesome. Like. These are, these are gnarly fish. They can get up to like 70, 80 pounds out in, the, out in the ocean. Just gnarly, gnarly like ambush predators. Like look at those teeth. It's got gnarly chompers. So yeah, let's, let's go guys, let's go. This is the most successful jetty trip I've ever had. <laughs> Which isn't saying much because I haven't had much luck before, but still. I don't think I'd keep a ling much smaller than that one, honestly. Fish, nice, right there. right there. Yeah, that's it, sounds about right. right there, so boat flip it up here. You just boat flip it up. What does that mean? Just flip it over, to, right, right here, flip it over to, oh my God, don't do it straight up. I don't know what the fuck it means. <laughs> just means to get it over here. Oh, okay. Here, hold this. Yep. Nice job. Let's, uh, let's bonk it, yeah, Jess's first fish, let's bonk it so she can get a picture with it. My first Jess's first ocean fish that wasn't like a little flounder or a tiny surf perch, the first like keeper. Really, honestly, a really nice bass. That's a good, that's a solid first fish. What do you have to say for yourself, Jess? I'm not scared, yay! <laughs> you go, let's go? <laughs> All right, back into the water, let's do it. No skunk for anyone, no ling skunk for me. Fish? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Jess's second fish. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no. I don't know. It felt like something weird. That's a fish. Oh, yeah. Fish on. Let's go. Boom. Fish on. Yeah, there's fish down here, Jess. Fish on. Yes. Get out of the rocks, get out of the rocks. He's going right for the rocks. What is, this is a fat one. Look how fat he is. Woo. Nice, you found a good spot over there. Jess is making a run for it gonna catch up to me. Fish on, whoa. Fish on, doubles, doubles, let's go. Let's go, Jess. Check this out, doubled up. <laughs> we both, Jess has found, a, we must have found a school of them, but Jess has been casting them, catching like two or three out of like five casts. And uh, so she cast in and I cast in right behind her and then we both hooked up at the same time. It was just like perfect. All right, you guys, that's, we need one more fish. 
I'm gonna recount, but I think we just need one more fish, which means it's gonna be a race. No. It's gonna be a race for me and Jess to get the last fish. Go. Oh, you're cutting me off. All right, who's gonna get it here? So our GoPro ended up dying as we started the race for the last rockfish, but Jess did indeed win. So congrats to Jess for the last rockfish of the day. After we got our limit, we drove home, cleaned these fish, cooked up a couple of them for some delicious fish tacos here, and uh, stored the rest in the freezer for later. Thank you guys for joining Jess and I on the coast. We had a great weekend. It was crazy. Probably the best fishing weekend we've had on the, on the salt. We we're really happy to share that with you guys. Let us know what you think in the comments. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And until next time, take care and I'll see you later.